All right, we're on Aelin Varen on the bottom right. We have a Mordor played by Athena. Uh, going against on the upper left, Awe Hawe, taking a spin at Age of the Ring, the macro micro king of the 1.9, 2.2 world. Uh, he's a very fast player, so this is going to be an extremely fast game, to be completely honest with you. Something that we don't, something that we see a lot of. We see a lot of this from like players like Athena. Uh, so it's like Athena versus like someone with as you know high APM as he would have, and this should be very interesting. And Mordor here with the Cracks of Doom play. Awe has yet to choose anything. Makes sense. He's just taking his time. And uh, three tunnel start. Four tunnel, but three tunnel layout near the fort just to you know protect your main farms. Makes sense to me. And he's going for the classic goblin choice here. Awe is known basically for his goblin spam and like his ability to play goblins in the other um, BFME versions. Okay, double goblin cave coming on up. And double stronghold for Mordor. Actually, no, single stronghold with the troll cage opener for Mordor. Okay. So yeah, I mean, Athena's playing this matchup right. He knows that Misty can struggle against monsters. That's why he's opening with the troll cage. Uh, because if he didn't, then like Mordor could get overwhelmed by spam. Mountain troll on the wave, costing 510. Another tunnel en route. Um, it's actually surprising, but we don't have like an early forward tunnel. I think always just maybe playing a little bit safe. Uh, keeping everything sort of in the base. Okay, stronghold. So that's the second stronghold. New farm coming in. Uh, mount control on the field. But yeah, Athena sees the goblins. He's maybe just going to use the mount control. Yeah, he's going to use the mount control, pressing back. Oh man, four goblin caves. You can see a mass goblin spam. That is for sure. That is for sure. Oh, is this uh, okay? It's not an aggressive. He just switched it off. Neutral stance now. Hmm. It is surprising to me though that he's not using like a four. Okay, now he's building a forward tunnel. I think maybe he just didn't want to like lose the momentum of like having his forward tunnel get like discovered. If that is the case, perhaps. Uh, but the orc warriors suffering from poison while the cracks of doom was played out here um, by Athena. Another mountain troll about to hit the field. A forward tunnel here for Awe. Mountain troll takes out one tunnel in Misty's base. Okay, let's take a look here. Orc warriors, orc warriors. The trolls. They end up basically just keeping up with the prod. Trying not to let... Ooh, actually he's got more your orc archers. Another thing we don't see too often just because... Uh, People like to go for the heavy goblin spam, but not really use the orc archers too much in Mage of the Ring, at least. So it should be interesting watching the interactions here with uh, the archers and the units. Up here, a mouth control thing out and get another tunnel of always. More goblins just running around Athena's base. Pretty good. I mean, they have a pretty good rate of fire when you look at it. Like, you know, face value. They really do. Uh, CP right now for Mordor is 500. And CP is 500 for Misty. So CP is even on both sides here. Uh, Frozen Waste was Awe Hallway's pick uh, for a spell book. Ooh. He could be losing his builder, though, if he's not careful. And looks like the mountain trolls slowly surviving over there despite being poisoned. Okay, another farm here. <laughs> the war glare rebuild that's unfortunate. Whoever creeps that is not going to get the gold. I don't think a rebuild on war creep layers is working as intentional since you don't get the gold. And what's down here? So Awe Hawe gets a farm. Okay, Thino over here moving again on the north. Uh, let's see what's happening. Orc warriors on this tunnel. Held up actually at the front of the Misty Mountains tunnel. And Athena gets another tunnel 
from Awe's base, but he loses the mouth control. Let's just see what's happening here. Another slave farm being hit in the back of Thena's base. Thena with, I would say, the advantage. I know Awe Hallway's got 50 more CP than him at this point, but map control just about even. Uh, just about CP side, like units on the field and everything, just about even. Violence, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Okay, let's take a look. Hold up. Orc Warriors chilling here. It's all way hallway, kind of on the defense a little bit with the Orc Archer gameplay, but he is making some... Ooh, he did get that farm. Damn, okay. I wasn't expecting him to get that farm, but I guess, like, the Orc Warriors were not in position. Um, 650 CP now for Misty. Mount Control here, fighting off the Goblins. 600 for Mordor. Awe Hawe going for the Mountain Orc Lodge. Cracks of Doom dropped here on top of the Goblins. Thena may be getting a little bit of an you know, advantage point. But the Orc Archers are reaching level 2 from you know just getting some good kills. Okay. Thena going in yet again with the Mountain Troll play. Just keeping up the spam pressure. He basically has to match Awe's spam. So that's why he's not changing off of Orcs at all right now. Like, there's no reason for him to because we're only seeing goblins on the field. Ten points here for Mordor. Six for Misty. So, Athena is in the power point lead. Mountain Troll in the back end of Misty's base getting another tunnel there. Probably going to get this Mountain Orc Lodge just maybe. But we do see the Mountain Orc Brutes coming out just in time over here. Let's take a look. Awe Hawe getting a farm over there. He's going to get this farm. And he's going to get this farm. He's in three places at once. Maybe four if you consider here. And again, we have more Orc Warriors lined up in Awe's base. The Mountain Trolls are running away. They need to find an Orc to eat to heal up. 625, 625. CPs are exactly even. Yeah, I'll weigh one some games against Dina. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's going on over here. Mountain Troll clearing the way at the Goblins. Uh, yeah, you gotta remember to get the rubble. Uh, that's the tough part if you just forget the rubble. Okay, over here, goblins. You definitely need to find it worked. That's oh, on cooldown, actually. Never mind. And the Nazgul keeping Misty Mountains busy for sure. Losing that lodge was rough because that means Misty just does not have pike access. Orc archers handling, handling the mountain troll there. Oh, is he going to snipe this? No, he's going to keep moving. Nazgul's are not known for the structure damage. It makes sense to keep moving. And Awe Hawe going to get this farm for sure over here. But uh, Athena going to knock out this tunnel. And who's this other hero? Do we have another hero? What am I seeing here? Uh, we have Shagrat on the field for Athena. Okay. Shagrat is here. Let's take a look. And Thena was trying to make a battle tower. Oh, we lost a builder. Damn. Yeah, it looks like Thena was trying to maybe make a tower here. Arc Warrior is going to get this tunnel down. Uh, eight points in the bank. 525 CP. 5 CP. 725. So Thena in... Eh, actually, all the way, all the way in the lead for the CP side now. But Thena's harassed. is really good. You're just keeping up with it. Uh, Shagrat, though, is going to be huge on the harass front for Mordor. With the Black Urk summon in general. Uh, Orc Warrior buffs. He's got, like... Splash damage. He's got tough hero armor. He's going to do really well here in the game. Dead of Honor, actually. From Awe Awe. Interesting. Where is that Ruins Vanguard structure? Oh, it's right here. Okay. It's right here. And we happen to see Shagrat over here trying to kill the clump of goblins. He could be going for this tunnel next. Ah, oh, man. But no pikes for Awe Awe. Is simply a setback right now, but I think he's maybe getting some pikes on the field. We'll see. Uh, the Nazgul is basically just getting free reign with the lack of pikes. Actually, there's like pikes over here in Mordor's base by Awe, but uh, basically not where they should be, which is near the Nazgul. Definitely want to, at the very least, uh, pair your goblins with the pikes, but he knows that for sure. Uh, f Ooh, rates on wings. Shit. Okay, Rates on Wings here by Thena, so we're going to see some nasty structure harass coming in, probably on the tunnel expansions, or he could be maybe going for the lodges? He's just skipping over a lot. Oh, okay, good choice, good choice. He's going for the Ruins of Angmar. 
Uh, sometimes, though, people with Misty Mountains don't care for the pikes. They just would prefer the goblins slowing everything down because cavalry naturally will slow inside of a goblin battalion since you tend to pair up with like three or four battalions at a time. So like this, the deceleration kicks in with Athena going up for the main tunnel here. You got runes of Aimar, which is pretty big. 500 CP for Mordor, 825 for Awe Hawe though. 825, so Awe Hawe still has uh, the uh, map control for sure. Okay, let's see what's happening. Black Urk summoned from Shagra, now expiring, but putting some work, but he forgot to get the rubble. Forgot to get the rubble taken care of right over there. Athena is gonna get this tunnel. And a dismounted Nazgul actually to help manage these mounted orc brutes. He does not want to lose a hero at all. And that would set him back uh, quite largely. 500 CP though for Mordor to 675 at this point of Misty. So the harass by Athena is doing pretty well at this point with the game. Now the troll on the field. Let's just take a look. And a new builder coming out here for the double mount control in production. We do have a orc stronghold being upgraded soon. Lots happening here in the center. Most of the units are trying to bypass each other. Orc archers with the poison damage on the mount control, getting it caught down. I'm going to pan away because it's getting a little bit laggy there. I'm on ultra high setting, so it's on me. <laughs> okay, okay. What's happening? Dead of Anor really doing quite well here for Awe Hawe. I think Orc Warriors naturally beat out Goblins, so that's another conversation. So he's basically having to find a separate swordsman uh, to move forward here. Ah, uh, they're, they're attacking the ambient troops over here too slightly. I think you can see that. This is on autocast. A little bit rough there for Thena to be autocasting that ability. And you know, more harass from the tunnel system. Ooh, but the, um, <laughs> the undead, um, the dead of Andor battalion almost died right there. Looks like always actually ignoring the creepler. No, I do not have shadows and shaders on Ultra 2. Sometimes here in the center of Alien Baron, you can just get a little bit, uh, a little bit laggy with everything that's like there. Um, over here, we got the He is Gathering All Evil Doom summoned from Mordor. We're gonna get some harassing on the tunnel system. 650 CP from Mordor, 975 from Hallway Hallway. He's really getting back into this with his map control and expansion. Very quick, very quick about it all. Okay, White Winter definitely going to be slowing down a Mordor. That is another thing here. Pretty good choice by Awe. And the Cav Summon going in on more farm harass. He could consider Relentless Pursuit on the Nazgul just to get away a little bit. Ruins of Angmar popping back in over here. Ooh. Wargs end up killing the Orc Archer Clump slightly. Looks like Touch of Ruin was used here on the Dead of Anor. Okay. Shagrat's Urk summon on cooldown, but he's got his level 7 scavenger, which is pretty good for himself. 60 off of the tunnel for killing it. Okay, the end over here being We're captured by the Nazgul. He's definitely gonna get some Harandor sword value from here. Okay, looks like uh, a little bit of slow. The game's slowing down slightly, but not definitely. Okay, I'll let you see what's happening here. 750 CP for a Mordor and 1000 still for Misty. Cracks of Doom here with the White Winter in the mix. Okay. Frozen Waste is actually yet to be used. I don't think he's used that in a while. But we do have Call the Horde by Thena. Hold on. 
Yeah, Athena went for Call of the Horde and Slaves of Nurn as well in the spellbook. Okay, very interesting. Okay, and Awe has discovered slashers in the game, so he's moved away from just goblin spam. Moloch on the field as well for Athena. Several orc archer battalions, though. Nazgul trample on the orc archers. Nice. 750 CP to 1,000 still. Always got really good harass, of course. He's known for that. Nazgul continuing to trample. I think Sha yeah, Shagrat's trying to clean up the dead of Anor at this point. Uh, do we see more trolls coming in, though? We probably don't. 600 CP for Mordor. 1,000 for Missy. So, like, as much as Dina's expanding, always pretty much just taking it all down. Basically taking it all down for sure. Okay, Moloch here clearing away the uh, melee units. The brutes are going to be gone. <laughs> Call the Horde of Moloch. How they come to this? Well, Moloch's pretty good against Misty Mountains, which is with his like base line survivability for sure. Uh, but Nazgul Screech coming in here. Good trample value. And darkness for Mordor even. Okay, so Athena's completely just cut, trying to use everything at this point to uh, get the advantage here throughout the game. But honestly, he needed his weather because of uh, White Winter. You always want to try to cancel the opponent's weather. Always. And the goblins are just kind of chilling around here at this point. But Awe Hawe gets in one of the main farms. It's tough. Oh shit, what happened here to Moloch? Damn, Moloch just got eaten up somehow, somewhere. That is nasty. Okay. Did not see what happened here, but Moloch is on the retreat. Okay, let's see. Rates on wings, almost back. Slaves and Nurn, almost back. The Goblin Gorilla works just fine. But yeah, no heroes for M Misty Mountains. Pretty significant. I like to see that. And we have the Moria Orc Archers trying to punish the uh, Mountain Trolls slowly but surely with the anti-poison feature. Okay, all right, all right. And the Mountain Troll goes down, mostly because of the Brutes right there. So at this point, 625 CP for Mordor, 850 for MMM, and we are definitely seeing the Spellbook lead maybe on, yeah, it's definitely on Thena's side. Spellbook lead is 100% on Thena's side. Just looking at all the options and versatility he has available to him. Uh, but we do have rates on wings going for the economy. Damn, that's the one thing I don't like about using flyers against MM, because like you have to remember to go back and finish the rubble. And, like, when you got temporary flyers, that's not really the game plan to, like, you know, waste more time finishing up the rubble. Okay, more orc archers chilling over here. They're definitely going to get this mountain troll, though. Now what's happening here. Rates on Wayne's going for this back end tunnel, but he's also going for... Oh, is he going to maybe swing by the Ruins of Angmar? Oh, okay, never mind. It expired. He cannot go for it. Okay, Moloch level 3, so he's got the resistance to normal arrow bonus. He's got the 20% resistance armor for him there. He's going to get this farm. All right. Uh, 19 points for Mordor though, 23 for Awe Hawe. So he has either option on the table here for tier four. He's got Durin's Bane or Dragon Strike. We're gonna have to see what he does with that. But Thena does have Fortress Armor. He's prepared not to lose his Fortress to like some shenanigans, like a Balrog play maybe, or anything else he could think of. So that's good. We do happen to see Felwind was popped off over here.
Mouthless Sauron is on the field, though. Uh, level 3. So he's going to be going around with the Nazgul's to do a lot of uh, structure harass, which is good. Oh, shit. Dude, I swear, Moloch must have, like, a weakness to, like, poison or something. Oh, did he die to the war glare, Warg? Or did he die to poison? Because, like, the war glare was right there. He may have, like, gotten bit. Damn. Okay, Moloch goes down. Dead of Andor may be chasing at the shack right here. They're probably going to get the kill, maybe. Ooh, Bog's Bodyguard. Nice. Don't see that every day. 25% uh, damage and 20% armor debuff to nearby heroes and heroic units of your enemy. And Call the Horde was used yet again over here by Athena. So he's basically just spamming things out of the cap CB right now. 700 CP to all the way, all the way 675. And shit, we just see the Balrog. I'll just take a... Oh. Okay, that was a lot happening on the screen there. Okay, 700. He's got Fires of Oroduin, though. Balrog using the flight ability. Yeah, what's gonna what's what's gonna be the choice to take here though for sure? Is he gonna be doing things quick or what? Let's take a look over here. We got the mouth of Sauron. <gasps> Fires are doing used on the prod structures. Oh my god, this is a big hit for Athena, but it doesn't take out the rubble. Interesting. Okay, so the rubble lives. That's very unfortunate for. Uh, very unfortunate for Athena that this did not actually take out the rubble. Ah, uh, he's gonna lose the slaves of Nern farm though for sure. Yep, yep, we have breath fire used. Oh man. Takes out three separate structures there, damn. So he took out that troll cage, he took out this, he took out this, damn. So much value from the Balrog, he took out that too. Shit. Yeah, Grim was right about the value that the Balrog is about to get on Mordor's base. Pretty cracked. Over here we have a forward stronghold even. I think basically at this point, Thena's probably just trying to expand as much as possible. But he lost so much CP. He lost a tremendous amount of CP here. He's only at 450 to all the way to Highway 600 now. 600. He's just at 675. And, ooh, Bogue's Bodyguard, though, with the Frozen Waste. Oh, man. They, they would neuter Nazgul's and Malthasaron for sure. Okay, let's just see what's happening. I mean, Mordor at this point... Oh, shit, he lost a fresh builder. I think he literally lost a fresh builder, but... Awe Hawe just sitting on top of Mordor's fortress. Pick him up. Okay, level 9 Nazgul. What level is Mount Sarn? Level 3 still. And we have Gundabed Berserkers here as well. Rondor Swords, even. Poison blades being used. Not the Sauron with his non-existent trample, just struggling to live there. Oh, looks like we have bear coming from Awe Hawe being used. Right over here, it's going to be big. 8 points, 625 CP. Slays of Nern Darkness available. What's happening up here is Chagra is just chilling. Oh, they get the Builder kill. That's another builder down there. I think that may have been the second in the game. I don't know. Maybe that's the first. But I know Athena's been losing builders. Rise, warriors of Harando. And again, Harando swords from the inn over here by Always Base. And he's gathering all evil to him. Popped off over here. Nothing in the tunnel, though, to really save it. Like a pike unit there would have been good just to kill uh, the. Uh, he is gathering all evil to him. Summon. We got a lot going on here. White Winter popped off. Darkness to cancel White Winter, though. That is the good play. That's exactly how you want to do it. A second builder maybe being lost for Awe. Looks like he's going to get away with it. Level 3 Bulg's Bodyguard, though. Level 4 now. Yep, so he's just moving forward. He's ignoring everything. He's just going to keep going in for the harass. Five fifty CP, six seventy five for Misty. Runes of Angmar is able to be used. Everything's on cooldown though for Athena though, so it's a little bit tight on his end for sure. 
550 CP, 625. Ooh, he lost a Nazgul. That's a big loss at this point in the game. Um, one Nazgul is still alive. Mount the Sauron still alive, but that's a big loss. We have a level 5 Bulg's Bodyguard Battalion here. Okay, all right. And Dead of Honor again, coming from the ruins of Amar structure. I like the use of Dead of Honor. You really don't see them, like, you know, as much as maybe you'd like. You see a lot more White Wolf priority in this one. And Chakra on the retreat. He does have loyalty. The Lugbur is active. He could turn around and kill these units if he wanted to. Athena, though, having to decide where to go right now. I think basically he's just trying to make sure he can keep all the way hallway out of his base as long as possible. Which is why he's building prod structures across the map right now. Okay. All, yeah, all the prod structures basically came back because the rubble did not uh, get taken out by fires or doing. Hackrat, though, trying to fight off the last of the brutes here. He's probably going to go down. Maybe, maybe not. But heroes are weak to pikes. Okay, he's, re he's repositioning. That's good. Mountain Orc brutes go near Mount Sauron and the Nazgul. Athena repositions immediately. And Bulk's Bardigar at level 6. They're probably going to survive, but we have rates on wings dropping over here. Going after the Mountain Orc Lodge. At this point, he's probably going to take out both lodges and maybe the tunnel. Okay, Mouth and Troll taking out this tunnel. But yeah, he's... Yeah, it's interesting that... I don't know if he's intentionally not going for the rubble because he doesn't want to bother with, like, the additional hits it takes. Because at that point, like... Foul Beast would always have less time to go take out other key structures. That could be the thing. It's just the fact that the rubble's easily able to be taken out later. Ooh, three Goblin Battalions inside the tunnel. Not bad, not bad. Uh, where is that Bulg's Bodyguard Battalion, though? Hold on. Where are they? Oh, shit. Still running around the map. Level 7, Dark Resolve. 100% damage with the cost of minus 25% armor for 20 seconds. Maybe we'll see that. Maybe. It looks like something was trying to happen over here, but Hawaii Hawaii pretty much has like no prod structures except for the goblin caves left. 31 points here in the bank for Thena. Holy crap. 650 CP, 31 points. Okay, Thena's not spending yet because I think he wants to see what he needs to do. Uh, I Sauron though. I of Sauron is the pick. We got Dragon Strike coming from MM. Little bit risky of a choice, but it does get the slaves of Nern uh, farm right over there. This is definitely going down maybe. Not the best Dragon Strike use. Pretty RNG to be real with you. Okay, alright, hold on. Ooh, Bogues, yep, Bogues Bodyguard over here, level 8, okay. They get the Orc Archer Clump, sure. Goblets are melting to uh, the Eye of Sauron. 10 points for Mordor, 650 CP, 725, 5 points. Bound Rock almost coming back though for Awe Hawe. Hmm, we got a lot happening over here though. Tunnel exit for the goblins. So Athena could be losing this. He could lose that if he's not careful. He could lose this. We'll have to see what happens. March. Okay, call the horde up and running. Okay, we got the <laughs> we got the barricade, that makes sense. He's just using this to buy time. Yep. Call the horde for Mordor. Popped off over here for more orc warriors and archers. Okay. Rise, warriors just take a look. Of White Winter is available in Mount the Sound Nazgul. Putting in more harass work. 
he could use darkness. I think they're both holding off on the weather use, of course, because they want to cancel the other person's weather. Go. Level 9, Bulg's bodyguard. These boys are still surviving. Okay. Pick them up. Rondor Swords going in for the assist on the kill of the Goblin Caves. Runes of Angmar dropped yet again. He keeps losing it because Thena keeps prioritizing that. Oh, man. Okay, he's starting to put up some fort towers around his building here. Mountain Troll gets taken out. Shagrat gets the Goblin Cave. Maybe he's going to lose this final structure here, too. The uh, tunnel over there in the back. 625 CP though for Misty now. 550 for Mordor. Okay, alright. Oh man. These boys are almost level 10. Moloch has returned to the field. Uh, Gothmog is here now too. I'm very curious about the interaction between Moloch and uh, Bog's bodyguard if we see it. Oh god, Shagrat might as well get one tapped over here. Let's see if we actually see that. But for now, I'm going to go back up to the base because we definitely just heard this. He's getting all over the used it yet again here. Dead. Wait. Oh shit. I d he dropped before I could even see it. But they used Dark Resolve, so he must have been one tapped. Yeah. Shelob over here. Darkness is available. Bulg's bodyguard going on the fortress, though. Holy shit. Look at that damage. That's with fortress armor. That's with the, uh, that's, well, that was with the ability active. Okay, Moloch knocked back by Felwyn. Yikes, look at that damage. Okay, nope, never mind. Hold on, back over here. See what's going on. See, he doesn't get the fort. Okay. Oh, shit, but the Balrog. Ooh, second Balrog drop. Oh, interesting. He's got the Wolf Den expansion there. Okay, what is going on though with the remainder of Awe Hawe's base? But I think. Oh, okay, let's see, let's see. He used Ignite, he's got the whip. I think he's. Yep, he's gonna take out these Auric Barracks for sure at this point. Yep, good call, good call. It's not gonna do much default damage with the Ford armor. See, it's like a little tickle. Over here though, Mordor used Fire's Ordering on Misty's Fort. They're going in for the Fort Snipe. Fire. Oh, we got the Weirworm dropped here too to defend. What? I wonder what the she loves like fire armor is like. Okay, Moloch, Mount the Sauron, Nazgul for the fort snipe with fires or doing on it. All right. Damn. Okay, Athena ends up getting the fort, but does Athena lose his fort? Athena does lose his fort too. Oh man. So now it's a race against the clock to whoever kills the other person's prod structures at this point. Okay. Let's see. I mean, there's a troll cage being built right over here. Balrog's got a little bit of time left. Now the player has spell pick use, though. And we happen to see Thena going in for the MM Builder kill. Very nice. Needs to get this next, though, maybe. But, uh, I mean, Moloch is handling things pretty well. Okay, more tunnels around the map. And we do know that the other MM builders obviously right over here building that goblin cave. Oh, never mind. Okay, Awe Howe called it GG. Man, that's a very cool game. You know, I really like it when other people come in and hop into the Age of the Ring scene and just uh, just show us what they're made of. I really enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, there's no hero at all for Misty in that game. No hero at all. Just all pure unit gameplay.